Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back once again to another episode of Vanilla Minecraft. And today we have something very important to take care of. Something that I've put off for a very, very long time. In fact, quite a lot longer than I even realized until I went back and checked just a minute ago. So, about 40 episodes ago, because we're in episode 43, which is really, really crazy to think about... But 39 episodes ago, in episode number 4, we built this portal room. And this portal room, which, if you don't recall, or you weren't around back when I built this, uh, basically, this is a room that toggles our portal from down below off and turns the portal up here on. Just like a so. And I built this entire place specifically because I needed a bigger portal so I could move animals on and off of my islands if I wanted to. And specifically, back in episode number four, I went and picked up some rabbits, because I wanted a little bit more life around the island. And we still have a few rabbits lingering around. We still got Cliff Bunny up there. <laughs> you can just barely see him. For some reason, I don't have Optifine, so I can't zoom. But these guys here, these backup bunnies to keep around, because eventually rabbits on my island will kill themselves, as Cliff Bunny has probably tried to do. These guys right here have not had a very good life this past 39 episodes. Now, I feel a little bit bad about that. <laughs> Just a teeny tiny bit bad about that. And I think today we should finally resolve this problem. We should go ahead and move these guys somewhere where they can be, well, a little more comfortable than this. <laughs> now, I don't think we're actually going to do that here on the island. I don't think it would be completely unreasonable to have, like, a little bunny area somewhere, but I think instead I'm actually going to move these guys off the island and put them somewhere a little bit different. And the original plan for that was to bring them up here to our floating platform. Now, I say the original plan because that plan has changed. In fact, that plan has changed multiple times, including just in the last few minutes. So the original plan, going way back to when I very first got those rabbits... 39 episodes ago, I originally intended to bring all of the extras up here and put them into a rabbit farm of some kind. You know the type, where you cram all the rabbits into a single spot and then you can mass breed them and you can get free rabbit's feet. Now, one, that sounds a little bit cruel, and I've already left those rabbits in a wet hole for 39 episodes. I think they deserve something a little more luxurious. And two, I don't really need rabbit's feet. I mean, I'm never going to use a potion of leaping, and if I ever do need them, say I make a minigame or something that uses them, well, I can worry about it then. I can make something to handle that problem then, but for the time being, I just don't really need it. So, that being the case, I changed my mind and I decided that I was going to build the rabbits a kind of a rabbit heaven. A little island somewhere that was going to have, you know, carrots on it and just be a peaceful nirvana for my poor little waterlogged bunnies. And I liked that idea, and I at first thought I was going to put it up here. I thought I would make a floating island, sort of like I did with the pumpkin and melon farm over there, which I just realized I still have to go back and reshape. <laughs> I've been meaning to fix that since I first built it, and I still haven't done it. I am such a slacker. But I, I was going to build a floating island similar to that one, you know, have it a little bit decorated up for rabbits and stuff, have some carrots around, all that good stuff, and just have them up here and ready to go if I ever needed to breed more for my island. But as I was about to prepare to do that, in fact, I was recording the predecessor to this clip and thinking about doing it, I realized that it wouldn't really fit in very well up here. I mean, we already have a floating island, and this place is really crazy looking, so it's not like it would look out of place, but everything that we've built up here is technical, right? We've got our iron farms, our fish farm, our mob farms, various crop farms, our villager breeder, and we're going to continue building more technical and kind of highly efficient builds up here all the time. And just having a random island of rabbits doesn't really fit the entire concept of this place very well. <laughs> Not that this place has an overarching concept, it would be completely fine, but it would feel a little bit weird. So that being the case, I've decided that instead of building a floating island up here on our floating platform, we are instead going to build a regular island in the ocean surrounding our main island, and that is going to be our rabbit's island. Uh, kind of our own little Okonoshima, if you're familiar with that place. The so-called Rabbit's Island of Japan. So, I think where I want to put that is right over here. I believe this is the south? Yeah. 
the south side of the islands, out this way, past our volcano, there is a little sliver of land. And I think that this is a good starting point for our islands, a good central point for it. Now, this is technically outside of the render distance from our island. We can see it here because we just flew from over there and my personal like client-side render distance is a little bit higher. But if we were kind of on our island and walked over to this edge, we would not be able to see this land from there. So I'm not sure that we'll be able to see our rabbit island from our island, which is completely fine. We don't need to. And I'm not even sure I would really want to, so that's kind of perfect. But it's still close enough that it's convenient if I need to get more rabbits. I can just come over here with Frostwalker, lead a few rabbits, and then walk back. And it would take, you know, like two minutes. It'd be fine. So I think that this is a perfect solution to the problem, and it means that we get to make another island and kind of decorate it up and do cool stuff with it, hopefully. So that's going to be step number one, is to create the island itself. Now, I'm not going to go super duper over the top with this just yet. I'm probably only going to make the surface of it and not connect it down to the ocean floor because, well, once 1.13 comes along, we're going to be doing a lot of different stuff down in the ocean, including around the edge of our island. So I'll worry about that later on. For right now, though, I'm going to come in here and build up a basic island, maybe give it some basic decoration to start off with, and then I'll come back with you guys and we'll talk about some of the other stuff we're going to be adding to it. So here is our rabbit island so far. Can we make it? Ow, not really. <laughs> so here is our rabbit island so far, and I think that turned out okay for what it is. I mean, it's pretty basic stuff. It's the same kind of thing we do anytime we landscape anything. But I think as a place just to store some random rabbits, this is pretty cool. So as a base island, I think this is nice. I mean, I would totally stay here if I was a rabbit. You got all the carrots you can eat, all the dandelions you can eat. Seems pretty peaceful. I like it. But there are still a few things I probably want to tweak. Uh, for example, the beach I think still feels a little bit rough. I'm probably going to come back through and clean that up a little bit. Probably expand it out a layer or two underwater. I don't want to go all the way down to the ocean floor today. Uh, as I described earlier, once we're redoing all of the ocean stuff underwater later on, well after 1.13... Then I will probably eventually tie all of this in, but for the time being, just expanding out a little bit will probably make it look a lot nicer. I also want to redo the cliffs a little bit and kind of fix those up, especially on the backside. I need to add a little bit more detailing over here to our waterfall. Just a, the area beneath it's a little bit plain. I need to kind of dress that up a little bit. And what else? Oh yeah, the cave. I added in this little cave, and... I mean, it's okay. I could detail it kind of like we do over on our island, and it would look nice as like a just a generic little cave. And we could also expand it. There's plenty of other space back here, but... Dang it. Uh, but I figured a small one would be okay. I don't really know, though. I mean, it doesn't really serve a purpose. Not that most of this island does, but I'd kind of like it to. I suppose I could swap this out for dirt and turn it into like a rabbit's den, or like a little rabbit's... Havel or whatever you would call it. That might be kind of a cool route to go. 
Is it turning nighttime? Yes. This place is not lit up, so I should probably sleep. <laughs> but yeah, maybe if I turn that into like a rabbit's den where all the rabbits go to sleep, that might be kind of cool. But I will take care of that stuff off camera. Mostly, at least, I think. We'll see. But there are a couple other things I wanted to try and do here. And at this point, I mean, we have the entire island. I could go and grab the rabbits and bring them over here and we'd be good to go. But I think that I want to add one more thing to this place. Something to give it just a little bit more visual interest. And I wasn't sure what that was going to be right up until this point, basically. Because the original plan was not to actually tie it into our main island over there. I didn't intend to. I wasn't specifically opposed to it, but it just wasn't the plan. I wasn't going to try and tie these two projects in together. But that being said, the idea of having the ancient civilization of our island come over here randomly one day and discover an island just full of rabbits and then decide that that's some kind of holy thing, I think that might be kind of cool, and it could lead to them building just a few little rabbit statues in the area. Nothing too extravagant, but just a couple little rabbit statues would make this place feel a little bit more interesting. At least I think so. So, I'm going to try and do that, and it might sound a little bit silly. I did actually look into this, and it turns out that this concept is not that outlandish. It's actually the Aztecs, um, which are a heavy influence on our main island over there. The Aztecs actually had a, I don't want to say a rabbit deity, they worshipped like a group of rabbits, like literally hundreds of rabbits in their mythology, and they were meant to be as like a sign of, one, fertility, which makes sense, I suppose, and two, drunken parties, which is really, really weird, like drunkenness and parties. For some reason, they associated a group of rabbits with that. Might have something to do with the fertility thing again. I don't know. But <laughs> I found that kind of interesting. And at the very least, that gives us historical precedence to do this little statue thing. So I'm going to try and do that. Just a few little statues, which will look a little bit derpy, I think. But it's Minecraft. You got to work with what you got, right? So just a couple little ones. I do kind of want to make one big one, though. And I actually do have a design for this. In fact, I spent quite a lot of time trying to make a design for this. <laughs> and I think I have one I like. The issue is that it is rather large. Uh, it'll probably take up this entire area up here even. It kind of will dwarf the island. So I worry that it won't actually look all that great. We'll have to see what it looks like when it's up there. I may have to tear it down if it's just a little bit too imposing. But it's kind of hard to make it any smaller because when you go smaller, you start losing detail and you kind of create all these other problems. So I think I'm going to go ahead and do that. The few little tweaks I mentioned, add some small statues, and then build one big statue up there. And, well, we'll see what our rabbit island looks like afterwards. This is pretty awesome. <laughs> These little guys keep up perfectly on this stuff. I could even run, actually, and they'd still keep up perfectly well. So that's all good. We are fast approaching our rabbit island, the home for these uh, little bunnies. Here we are. <laughs> and, well, I hope they like it here. 
So I added in the statues. Obviously, the little ones look a little derpy. Like this one's meant to be like a standing rabbit, and this one's a normal, <laughs> a normal rabbit. Um, obviously, they look a little silly, but well, I mean, you can't really do much better than this in Minecraft, right? At least in vanilla Minecraft. <laughs> Not used to having a little bunny army following me, but yeah. It, I tried for quite a bit to try and come up with something a little bit better than these, and you really can't. It's hard to make something that conveys a rabbit any smaller than this, and even going bigger, it's honestly tricky to get this shape. And it's not until you start reaching that scale up there that you can start giving it actual detail. Now, I still don't know how I feel about that. I should probably uh, pop my bed down and... Can I sleep? <laughs> I can keep them leaded while- oh, hello. I'm getting- getting cuddles. Cuddle bunnies. Okay. Uh, I'm still not entirely sure about this statue up here. It does kind of dwarf the rest of the island a little bit. I mean, it feels really, really big, right? But, I don't know. I think it's okay. I don't think it's terrible or anything like that. I'm not entirely sure about the leaves that are on it. That was meant to try and break it up a little bit, because it is just all solid gray, since it's just a normal stone statue, and everything kind of blended together. So I figured that would help. Maybe if I rearrange them a little bit. Right now it feels a little weird. It feels like they just kind of dropped on top of it. But, I don't know, I'll experiment with that a little bit off camera, I suspect. And I also redid the little rabbit burrow in here or rabbit den, or whatever they're called, and I think that feels kind of cool. I mean, it's very simple and kind of pointless, but I like it. Let's go ahead and unlead these guys. How do I... There we go. You're free to go, bunnies. Yay. Okay. There. Okay, so now we got all of our little bunnies. They're happily in their little rabbit den and freaking out now that I'm not holding a carrot. And I think our rabbit island is more or less complete at this point. So like I said, maybe some little tweaks to the statue. And of course when we redo our oceans and stuff, we will eventually come over here and swap those boots off now. We'll eventually come over here and tie this all in. But I think in general, our rabbit island is pretty well done. I did only do one little bit of the <laughs> of the kind of beach going into the ocean. I figured, again, since we're going to be redoing it later, it's not really the biggest of deals to get it done right away at the moment. But other than that, I think everything is pretty good. You guys will have to let me know if there's anything else we should add here, or if you have ideas for better looking little statues. I mean, this was the best I could come up with. And maybe if I spent more time on it, I could think of something that would look okay. But as far as statues that are relatively small, like not much bigger than the player is, for example, I don't really know that you can do much better than this, honestly. Which is a shame, because they do look kind of silly, but I don't know. I think they're okay. I think they'll do just fine. <laughs> you guys are just going to hang out in here, huh? Well, anyway, that is our Rabbit Island project, and I think I'm going to call this done. At least for the time being, other than little tweaks and stuff, obviously. Now, before we call it a day here, there is one other project I want to take care of, and it is, coincidentally, also rabbit-themed. And of course, that is to update the wardrobe of our bestest buddy, the Villager Breeder. So, today, because I'm a bit of a slacker and I didn't get the video done on time for when it was supposed to be up, today is Easter. And that means that, well, this Abe Lincoln Valentine's aesthetic that we've got on our villager breeder has kind of outlived its welcome. It's time to move on to something different, and obviously we're going to give this guy a little bit of an Easter theme. Now, I'm not going to go too complicated with this one. We're going to do something relatively simple, and that's just going to be a one of those headbands with like the bunny ears on it. <laughs> you know the ones, right? I'm just going to go ahead and throw one of those on this guy. It'll probably look a little bit silly because they're really basic looking, but I think that'll do just fine. So I'm going to go take care of that quick, and then we'll wrap up today's episode.
Isn't he adorable? <laughs> I probably should have added a little bit more shape to the left one because like it arches forward, which looks kind of cool, but you can't really tell when you're walking down the pathway. So I probably should have added in a little bit of like maybe just one block slant to the left. So it had a little bit more shape from the front, but other than that, I think it turned out okay for what it is, which is just a silly little decoration on our villager breeder. <laughs> and yeah, I think I'll leave that how it is for now, and I think I'm also going to leave this video for now because, well, I need to go edit it and get everything taken care of and hopefully get it uploaded in time for when I want it to be up because, well, I'm already a day late. <laughs> so... I'm going to go take care of all of that. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Be sure to tell me if you have any ideas for our little rabbit island and things we could do to change it or improve upon it. And, well, I hope you guys have an amazing Easter or just amazing Sunday, depending on how much you care about holidays. And I'll see you guys next time. So take care. Bye-bye.